Miami had the ball, a grand total of 17 seconds on that possession. Holmes is deep. Got a lot of room to work with here. Holmes to the 30. And then heads out of bounds, shy of the 35-yard line. And injured Dolphin on the play is Nolan Carroll. He is on the Jets' sideline. Boy, it looked like he got tripped by one of the uh, members of the Jets staff. Well, this is just uncalled for in the NFL. Watch the knee here being stuck out on purpose to trip up Nolan Carroll. Not sure who that person is, but they should be ashamed of themselves for that type of action. That has no place in any athletic event. It helps the daily routine. Here's a third and seven. Bills trying to bring five. Later then slides and throws. And will there be a flag? His ball is intercepted. No flags. Oh, there's a late one, but this is not going to be for the interception. It's going to be. There's a couple of flags, different sides of the field. Oh, there definitely was. White's definitely holding Gronk. That wasn't called. And then he's holding them again, and then gets away with it. They don't call it. He intercepts the pass. It's a little banged up. He's down. Someone comes by and hits Gronk from behind. And then Gronk, this is going to get flagged. Oh, Gronk's 100%. And a flag is down, thrown into the end zone. Five-yard run for the score, and it appears to be against the Titans. And an injured player, Andre Gerard, seems to be shaken up. The Cowboys center, who's having a big year. And now a tempers flaring momentarily. There are two fouls on the scoring play. Unsportsmanlike conduct, defense number 92 for stomping a player's helmet. We also have an additional penalty for throwing his helmet to the ground. That player is disqualified. Both penalties will be enforced on the kickoff. Ainsworth has been disqualified and walks off. Right there. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's uncalled for, man. That is unbelievable. And there is Gerard with a towel to his head, and Hainsworth has been disqualified. First and 10 at the 22 now of Oakland. Mendenhall in the backfield. Shotgun for Roethlisberger. Looking long. Caught by Sanders. Touchdown, Steelers. A perfectly thrown ball by Roethlisberger and Sanders with the catch. And a fight. Flags are thrown this time. Roethlisberger saying something to Seymour that he didn't like, and that will get Seymour ejected from the game. Punching Roethlisberger right in the chops there. Watch this. Talib reaches in. Grabbed the go chain. Yeah. And ripped it apart. Ramtree is in disbelief. He's actually showing his teammates yeah, what he did. Him what he did. So that was playing. He was thinking about that. Deion Grant's been in the league for a while. Miraculously, he recovered quickly. 34. Oh, wait, we had two guys go down and fake injuries. Yeah, I hate to say that wow. he's not really hurt, but that's a tactic that defenses have used in the past against no huddle offenses to try to slow it down and stop the clock. Perry Fuel, hopefully has more answers than that because they're on the ropes right now. Third and call the yard. And again, the Broncos are three and out. Off the fingertips of Stokely. He's yeah. making an appeal. Oh, they oh. threw a flag on sportsmanlike conduct. Yeah, Stokely, uh, the flag thrown by that back judge who he ran down. Unsportsmanlike conduct on the offense number 14. Contacting an official. 14 is ejected. Oh, on top of it, he's tossed. Wow. Now, they've already lost McKinley, Eddie one Royal. of the receivers. Eddie, Eddie Royal, Royal is out. out. And Brandon Stokely, kind of the move receiver who they put a lot of... Trying to see if he touches. Oh, he hit his arm as he walked yeah. away. Rodgers floats it. Driver incomplete. 
little scrum breaks out after the play again. Here and a flag. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see who this is called against, but a good stop by, by Detroit. And maybe if yeah. this is after a personal play, foul against personal Detroit. Personal foul on this area roughness. Defense number 90 for kicking. Number 90 is disqualified. So not only is this a penalty for unsportsmanlike conduct, but it will give the Green Bay Packers another shot at getting a touchdown, and Sue is kicked out of the game. Well, they can argue all they want about this one, but he's not going to get to play anymore this afternoon. You're going to see it right in here, and Evan Dietrich Smith, he actually does a great job on the block. That's an excellent block on his part, and Dominican Sue doesn't like it. He jams his helmet into the turf to start with about three times, and then at the end of this is when he makes the kick. Oh, there's just no place for that in football. No Atkins. But that's Amari Cooper. Ooh. Wow. Amari yeah, Cooper and, and Adam Jones. Yeah, Adam Jones, uh, that was that's toting the line there a little bit. Sweet. Who has started to come on after that hundred yard performance in the win last Sunday. Falls gone end zone. Right back to Kelsey, who thought that he was interfered with in the back of the end zone. No flag. Well, Mukamara, who missed on that interception early in the game, was there on the coverage. Kelsey saying that they turned him and hooked him away from the ball right there. That head around the net. He was hit before the ball arrived. Now, the official may have said that ball was too high for Kelsey. Oh, Kelsey is hot. Now he's ejected from the game. He's out. There must have been some verbal confrontation. He was hot. In terms of whatever he said to the official was not warranted. The loss hurt, but an incident involving linebacker Bill Romanowski threatened to destroy the season. I didn't see it happen, but the next thing you know, he's starting to hear the rumblings. Romo just spit in J.J. Stokes' face. Did what? He spit in his face. Here's the play before. That's J.J. Stokes, I think, talking to Bill Romanowski. Ooh, and there is a, a real lack of social graces on the part of Romanowski.